bass guitars. One part, multiple sources. So we have a DI, a model of an Ampeg SVT, set to mid-range a little crunch, model of an SVT Pro set for all lows, and a distorted bass, which was the DI run out to the second channel of the diesel amp. They all feed one main bass bus, and on that main bass bus, we have the Manly Elop compressor. We have the Dangerous Liaison routing the Tone Lux EQ, API compressor, and the Tone Lux compressor. More for tone shaping than gain control, but Manly's taking care of that. Then we have this wonderful beast adding some low end. A little bit of this for leveling, but the mix is down pretty low. And then some scooping, I guess, where it's interfering with the low end percussion. Then we mult out to two different high bass auxes. And they cut the low end, they boost the high end, they have more attack. And they're compressed a little bit so it pokes out. So I have two sources of that. You can see one is muted, it'll automate on. So some are using the chorus, some aren't. So here's the DI through all of the aux ends. SVT, sounds really close. Low amp. And now dirty. Put them together. So when you hear that, you're like, wow, that distorted bass, why do you have that in there? It doesn't sound as good. It doesn't sound as good soloed, but in the track with the guitars, it lets the bass compete and it gives you a feeling of the articulation. So here's our chorus with drums, basses, percussion, sound effects. Now, an interesting to check out would be taking off our auto align. Now, you notice I have it on the basses. So what I've done was I phase align the DI to the kick. And all those other low-end percussion sounds are phased to the kick. Anything hitting on a backbeat is phased to the snare. And then I phased out the amps to the DI. So let's listen to it with it in, and then I'll pop it out. Take it out. I could work without it, sure. But it allows a level of focus and a level of smearing that's gone and a level of dialing in the lower end and a low mid-range for me that I don't have to work as hard. It's all about getting the music out and being creative with the mix rather than babysitting. So that's the whole low end of the mix. So that was A World is on Fire by Moguls of Mayhem, Anatomy of a Mix, number one. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. Hit the notification button so we can let you know when we have more. Hope you stay healthy and well. Keep making music. Thanks.